guys, I'm Lauda and you're watching Laura Xani. So today I'm here with Greg's character arc. Yay! Okay, so let's take a look at season one with Greg. Season one, Greg is seen as the enforcer. He's seen as the DI and he's sort of the almost fatherly figure in Sherlock's life um, due to the fact that we find out in episode one, halfway in, that you know, Lestrade knew Sherlock back in his drug days with the whole drugs bust thing. And that is obviously a very troubled time for Sherlock and well, I think we're gonna find a lot uh, out a lot more about it in season four. But that's a big thing in a way. Um, <laughs> and then um, in season two, we find out that he's more of a pal and he's more important to Sherlock than maybe we first realised. I also love the fact that in the Hounds of the Baskerville episode, Sherlock doesn't know Greg's name, yet he's still really important to Sherlock that we find out in episode 3. But back to episode 2, where Lestrade says a brilliant line, which makes all my Strad fans, if you're a my Strad fan, like this video. Anyway, my Strad fans, it makes them so happy because he goes, and I don't always do what your brother tells me to do. Which just means that Mycroft and Lestrade know each other and totes tell each other things and Mycroft makes them do stupid things. Anyway, that's, we'll get more onto my Strad into in a couple of months. Anyway, so yeah, that's a kind of big thing. And also in the Reichenbach Fall, we find out that Lestrade is one of the most important people to Sherlock because he's got an assassin trained on them. No, that's not a good thing, but in the world of character arcs, that's very important because, you know, there's, we can understand why there is a gun trained on John. We can understand why there's a gun trained on Mrs. Hudson, but it's kind of a, a shocker that the gun is trained on Lestrade. Um, I'll burn the heart out of you. Obviously, Sherlock's heart's big enough for John Lestrade and Mrs. Hudson. Then on to season three and that opening episode and where, you know, Sherlock goes and tells Greg that he's still alive. He goes, oh, you bastard, and hugs him. That is like one of the most important things. Like, you know, Mrs. Hudson screamed, John beat him up three times and Molly squealed. But although Molly, we know, knew he was alive, but Lestrade hugged him of all people and that's when I think like everyone thought he was kind of fatherly and then the minute you see that you're like yeah essentially essentially like Lestrade treats like Sherlock as one of his sons like seriously or like, like a younger brother it definitely is there and um, everyone else in the world freaks out just that you know Lestrade is really important. There's also another Maestrad bit I really want to talk about but I can't talk about it because obviously that's going to come up in the Maestrad thing or I'll have nothing to talk about in the Maestrad one. Um, and then so basically in season three we don't see as much of Lestrade as I think we'd like to but we do see a bit of him. Um, and then so what's going to happen in season four? I actually don't know Greg is one of the hardest people. I don't know where his character arc is going to go in season four. I would really, really, really like there to be a Maestrad element. I just think it would be really good. If we're not going to get John Locke, can we at least get Maestrad? Um, I would quite like to see that, but I think I'd like to see Greg... I don't know, because from the trailer... Oh God, don't even start me on that bloody teaser trailer which near about killed me we see that there is almost I don't even know I just I don't know it's honestly so hard for me to think of what's gonna happen with Greg in season four I just don't want Greg to die of all the characters I adore Greg I adore Rupert Graves because he's such a silver fox but anyway, I just don't want Greg to die and I'm scared because this is meant to be the darkest season. I just feel like everyone's going to get killed off and I don't want anyone but Mary to get killed off. Or maybe I wouldn't mind if Mrs. Hudson died. I like Mrs. Hudson but I think like, I don't, I love Una. No, I, I think I wouldn't actually mind if Molly died either. Why do I just want to kill off all the female characters? Oh. Oh. I should probably think that over my brain. Anyway, 
I think Greg is essentially just going to be a bit more badass. I think everyone's going to be more badass in season four, but I would like Greg to be quite more badass. And I would like to see him maybe take a more fatherly tone with Sherlock. And I would also love, 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 love to see a few flashbacks of Greg dragging Sherlock out the gutter. That would be amazing. Also kind of really want to see like John and Lestrade just having like a guys talk in a pub. Like we know that that happens. We can obviously tell that it's totally canon that Greg and John go for pub nights, but I would love to see one. I just think that would be really good. I'd like to quite see that. I'd just like to see another interaction with Mycroft and Lestrade. Oh my god. That isn't either at a graveside or in Sherlock's mind palace or Mycroft going to Lestrade to get him to go away, essentially. Is that too much to ask? I think it's probably too much to ask, isn't it? Anyway. That's it. I know this has been a bit kind of but as you know if you've watched my previous videos I'm kind of at uni just now. Well when I'm filming this I'm actually leaving for uni on Saturday. Today is Thursday when I'm filming this. I leave for uni on Saturday. My, my room is bare. I'm, I'm a mess. I'm a mess of a human so I'm a bit kind of all over the place. So yeah uh, but when you're watching this I hope you enjoy it and I will catch you on Monday for my Bridget Jones's baby review. I am so excited for the new Bridget Jones's film. <laughs> okay so I will see you guys then. Bye!